Okay, so advancements in uh, biotechnology and also our understanding of the brain have uh, put us in, in a situation where we should question how to use this knowledge. One of the ways in which uh, we are expected to do that and uh, we will look into is what does it say uh, what does it tell us uh, if we know that a certain substance or a certain reaction in our brain can increase our attention, it can increase our performance. Now, we, we have seen that this can, of course, be an issue when we talk about enhancement, but what about the responsibilities that go with it? Should we expect certain individuals, or more specifically, certain professions, to undergo these treatments, procedures? At times, perhaps we can even imagine specific surgeries, so to grant the community an impact that otherwise would not be paralleled. For instance, think of a surgeon or a pilot of an airplane. Do they have specific responsibilities because of the sensitivity of their position, of their profession? Uh, and if so, can society really expect them to use, for example, uh, certain drugs or other uh, forms of uh, technological uh, enhancements to perform better, to be more responsive, to be able to, perhaps in a case of a surgeon, to be able to operate for 12 hours in a row without feeling any fatigue. Well, again, as uh, in line with the mission of this course, the idea is that uh, the answer is not so easy, is not a yes or no. We should explore why and why not certain situations might push us to, to think that to be the, the best possible option. Now, again, in, in, in these scenarios portrayed, we are contrasting what perhaps uh, we could define as what the individual uh, and how the individual uh, could or would want to uh, implement certain technological advancements, biotechnological advancements and what the community could or should expect from him or her. And this tension is uh, uh, closely connected to what ethical guidelines we want to implement in the society we live in. And therefore, that's why it needs to be addressed with care.